And welcome back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Great program today. Call with your car questions at 888-CAR Clinic. With us on the hotline right now is Tommy Regan, NASCAR driver, who's preparing for his run at the Sonoma Raceway next month. Tommy, welcome to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Glad to have you in the house. Hey, Bobby. I, it's glad to be here. You know, I was wondering when I was going to meet you. You know, I, I, <laughs> I've run into you a couple times. I've seen you around at the track, and, I, and I've heard your show. But I said, you know, one day I'm going to meet that guy, and you know what? <laughs> Today's the day. It is. It is. So tell us, Tommy, uh, are you more excited or n more nervous to make your first start in the Monster Energy Cup Series in Sonoma <laughs> next month? That's June the 25th, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> that's a good, that, that's the question, you know, because it's full throttle on both. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't really get nervous. I mean, I, I am, but I'm not. I it's it's fully excitement. I, I think it's uh, justification for the last ten years of my life, all the stuff that I've gone through, um, the push, the struggle, the setbacks. Um, so it's kind of it's validating. It's very validating, and. Um, I am just so excited to run Sonoma. Uh, I, it's a dream come true for me. Well, have you ever raced at Sonoma before? Sounds like you have not. Uh, I have. You have. <laughs> that is that is my home track. Uh, I grew up here, out here in California, and um, I've run hundreds, tons of track days out there. Uh, I ran the Viper Racing League out there, uh, the Mustang Camaro Challenge Series out there. I am extremely familiar with that racetrack. Well, I'd like to shift gears from where I had originally wanted to go here because now you mentioned something. In 2001, I had a Viper made to my specs, uh, the color and the combination and what have you. And uh, w what I found to be true was a Viper loves to go the wrong way, which means that the back end will come around. So I've never been on the track with my Viper and I've never been on the track with any Viper, tell me what you drove. I know it had probably had the wing and, and what have you, but is that car a monster on the track like it is on the street? <laughs> I've spun it out several times on many different tracks, but due to the topic that we're talking about, let me talk to you about the first time I ever spun a Viper out, and that was at the top of the hill turn on, on Sonoma. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we, we had a, a 98 Viper at the time. And uh, we were taking it to Laguna Seca, Thunder Hill, and this time we took it to Sonoma. And uh, we were putzing around, but the first time I started to really get on it, um, this is, you know, back in 98 when I was still learning. <laughs> and uh, I come across, I go up the hill at Sonoma, and I come across the bend, and I give it just a little too much gas. And, man, I think come right around. It had all the horsepower I needed, especially we only had uh, the street tires on it at the time. Uh, but when I was learning to drive it, it was a monster. Uh, you know, it can come around on you. It, it can re react a little bit different than what you might expect. But after I learned how to drive it, oh, my gosh, it was a blast. It's, been, it's, it's a blast. It has always been fun. Well, I'm delighted to hear that somebody has learned how to, <laughs> how to drive a Viper because I can tell you uh, I always felt and still do that I was not qualified to drive mine. So I, I drive uh, it very, very slowly. And, and to that end, it's, it's not a race car, but it's a, it's a monster of an automobile, just the gobs of torque. Listen, share with our car clinic listeners and viewers – what kind of preparations does a driver like yourself go through to get ready for a big race like Sonoma? Okay, so the cup race at Sonoma is much different than any of the other races that I've raced. Um, I've raced the NASCAR K&N Series at Sonoma uh, as well, and uh, I've run in the K&N Series, and, and I've run some stuff in the Truck Series, but the cup races are much longer and much more intense than, than any of the other races that I've done. Um, so there's the physical aspect, there's the mental aspect, and then the strategy aspect um, that has all been escalated times 10. So I guess let me start off with the physical aspect. I'm in the gym twice a day, six days a week. Wow. In the morning, I'm working on my neck muscles. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't really think, why, you know, why would you work out your neck muscles for long periods of time? Well, at those speeds, turning left, turning right, you know, still 130 miles an hour, 140 up in there, 
that helmet has a lot of G forces, mm-hmm. and when you're turning, the weight of the helmet, you know, not for the first hour, but the second hour, and, and on towards two hours and thirty minutes, you, your your neck muscles can fatigue. So I'm really strengthening my neck muscles, strengthening my core muscles in the morning, and working on reaction times. And then every other day, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm, I'm three hours of cardio in the nighttime. So I'll warm up with an hour of treadmill. Then I'll do a half hour of elliptical, a half hour. They got this other funky elliptical machine that's even harder than an elliptical machine. Uh, it kind of goes up and down, and then I do that for the second half hour, and then I'll go back to the treadmill for the last hour or half split it up with the bike. You know, I got to say this, and folks, this is so refreshing to talk with a NASCAR driver, a real person, and to get an inside story as to how drivers, because, you know, I think too many people that just observe and and watch TV or go to NASCAR races or uh, that race themselves, they look at the car and they think you're sitting in there, you're just steering left and right. But that's a that is really you have to be on top of your game consistently and constantly and and mentally that has to be excruciating. If you're not prepared, it's not fun. <laughs> I, I've been in a race uh, a couple years ago, five years ago, and I was not physically prepared, and it was there was nothing fun about it. I was out of breath. I was just my my sides were hurting my necks were hurting my arms everything was just hurting and i was just like oh gosh i'll never do this again it really is amazing we're talking with tommy regan a uh, nascar driver and we're getting the inside scoop folks to what's really going on inside the car so let's step outside the car i know tires are a big deal especially at sonoma tell us why okay so for, for those if there's any listeners out there that aren't too familiar with how, how race tires work um if you if you put on a brand new set of race tires and you pull out on the track and you run really hard you have a lot of traction for like the first five laps let's say five five, and it really starts even gets within that but after five to seven laps your car can slow down two seconds on the racetrack wow it's not, I mean, after 20 laps, you know, by the time you, you put the tires on to the time you take them off, there can be a second and a half, to, a second to second and a half, two seconds different in your lap time. Um, so let's, let's take the long picture of, of the race, you know, two and a half hours long. Every lap, let's say there's a tenth of a second okay. that is being lost or gained, lost. So in 10 laps, that means a car, if they were losing just a tenth of a second in 10 laps, would be down a second from where they normally were. And then in 100 laps, that's 10 seconds back. And that can make the difference between first place or last place, you know, (laughs) over, over the course of a race. So their strategy as a driver, when I have new tires, how hard do I drive them? And that, that means how hard do I push the car into a turn? And then how hard do I come out of the turn? As the tire starts to wear, I will lift the gas a little bit sooner into a turn, turn in a little bit easier, and change my driving style into more of a momentum where I keep the momentum more even around a turn. And then it helps not scrub off the traction on the tire so much. That's pretty much I've gotten really good at identifying where the tires are in the traction cycle and how to adjust my driving style to that. And so, Tommy, when you're driving one of those cars, uh, how far ahead, I know that you know the track and you know every little nuance uh, of the track, but how far ahead do you drive? Let's say that you're half a block or a quarter of a block behind the car in front of you. Are you watching that car in the road or are you watching the car in front of that car? So if there's another car in front of me, let's say, like you said, a half a block ahead. Right. uh, I would not be paying attention to that car. I'd be paying attention to my own style. Okay. My lift points on the track, running my own race at that point. Looking forward, uh, I've actually seen a wreck coming through the car in front of me and through the car in front of that one. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So that was a weird view uh, where you know they were wrecking. So, And, again, that has to do with percentages. Um, How much of my focus am I looking ahead? How much is my focus looking at my lift points and how much of my focus is looking on what the car is doing? And then how much is my focus on 
making a decision on what I want to do to adjust my driving style to what the car is doing, all at 130 miles an hour, banging and bashing off at a car. So. Wow, that's a, that's a lot going on. <laughs> So now let, let's let's shift one more final gear. What are your plans after Sonoma? Tell us about your car, just just briefly, uh, and maybe a few of your sponsors. Okay, so my plan is I, I'm here. I'm here to stay. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. We've got really good momentum going with our sponsors. Um, it's really nice to be getting sponsors that can support me and, and, and move forward in the NASCAR Cup Series. I'm looking to get my track approvals in the process. NASCAR wants me to do that. And really studying, really open-minded on learning the details. And when I say learning, I'm not really saying, you know, learn how to race, learn how to drive. It's learning how to get the last tenth, the last two tenths, the last three tenths of a second out of a car. Um, So lots of learning, and I'm still going to be climbing the ladder, getting my approvals, and I look to be running – my goal is to be running full-time in the NASCAR Cup Series within two to three years. Well, uh, my goal is to wish you that you make your goal uh, because I can tell you uh, <laughs> someone I, I envy you for working out six days a week. I won't tell you what I do in the gym, but, I, but I, I'm a treadmill kind of a guy, <laughs> but I cannot stand the elliptical. It's beyond my capabilities to do, to do that, I think. Uh, but, but congratulations on all of your accomplishments. I want to wish you the best. That's June 25th now at Sonoma. Tommy Regan and Tommy a, I, a, a website, please. Yes. Yeah. Can I uh, can I tell you guys about a really cool contest we have going on really quick? Absolutely. Sure. Okay. Uh, I'll be quick. It sounds like we're we're running out of time here. So we have a really awesome contest going where somebody could win a chance to be part of a real pit crew on my race for the Sonoma race that weekend of uh, June twenty fifth. So it's it's really easy to sign up if you go to oscaroparts.com forward slash NASCAR. That's O-S-C-A-R-O parts.com forward slash NASCAR. It's a really easy sign up. I said, I don't want no long uh, deal where people need to be there for 15 minutes. I said, I just want a name, uh, an email, and a way to get a hold of you guys. And so we're going to fly the winner out. We're going to pick them up. We're going to make them part of the team. And the winner will get a chance to be part of our pit crew the whole time. And so that's oscaroparts.com forward slash NASCAR. And Shark Welding has come on with me and my, my team for the race and also Ligenfelter Brackets. Uh, they build uh, bumper brackets uh, for Mopars. Well, and I'm very familiar with Lingenfelter and uh, Ken, and I've enjoyed uh, FaceTime with him uh, at SEMA before. Uh, certainly uh, a very interesting fellow. Uh, he is as well. And I want to wish you absolutely the best. Go get them, Tommy Regan, and that's TommyRegan.com. And, folks, this is a no-brainer for if there's an individual out there that really wants to be part of a pit crew, here's your opportunity O-S-C-A-R-O parts dot com. Oscaro parts dot com slash NASCAR. Put your name in the hat. And uh, Tommy, uh, I hope someone from our Carthenic audience wins and is there to join you right there in Sonoma next month. Congratulations and, and thanks for joining us on Bobby Likas Carthenic. Thank you, Bobby. I look forward to coming on again someday.